hello guys welcome to a new video in today's video i will uh, go through uh, the react use state hook so stay tuned with me and uh, do follow the video till the end uh, i'm starting a new mini series about uh, react hooks so also check out other vi videos as well so let's get to it without wasting any time so here i have set up uh, some uh, some basic uh, basic stuff uh, so we have uh, i have an empty almost empty uh, app component here with uh, a couple of buttons and a and a span uh, with with just a text count so i am going to make a very simple counter this is the most common example and it is i guess quite useful as well uh, to show uh, the use of state in react so the first thing we need to do is to just replace this count with a variable count as you were going to do uh, in the vanilla javascript and then i am going to show you what is the difference between javascript and basic javascript or vanilla javascript and react and why we need state and then how to how we use state okay so if we were using let's say we were using vanilla javascript so what we would do here for the count is just create a basic variable and call it count and set give it some value i am assuming that we are using a vanilla javascript and then just use that variable here instead of uh, the text with the dummy text i used so i'll say count here so what it's going to do is it's going to display zero here in uh, in place of count since the value of the count variable is zero so if uh, we were supposed to be using a vanilla javascript what we would do is uh, we would assume that once we change the value of this variable then we we can just uh, use the dom to change the value of this span as well with the new value of the count then then the value of uh, this uh, variable or th this count would change upon clicking these buttons but that is not how react works because react ha has its own virtual dom and which is quite useful and uh, speeds up the performance but uh, but using the basic the original dom is not possible in this situation so what we are going to use do now is to use the use state hook and how we do that uh, it the use of use state hook is the okay so the use of use state hook is quite simple for that we just uh, say we create a constant and uh, set it equal to use state which is the fun built in function of react okay so use state and we pass the initial value of state here so the initial value of our count should always be zero okay so we'll say zero and uh, this use state function returns an array uh, array uh, and the first element of the array is the value of the variable or the state itself and the second variable uh, second uh, value in the array is the function to change the value of the state okay so we will say count which is our actual value of the count and then we have another function here from the state and uh, that should be called set count because it it is used to change the value of the state okay so uh, we also need to do a couple of things here uh, first of all we need to uh, replace this count with uh, in fact it is count already so okay we don't need to change that but uh, we need to add on click listeners here uh, so that when the button is clicked we can change the value of the count okay so it's a on click and in the on click function we we can simply set count Set count to what the actual value of, where what the value of count is currently, and then we'll minus subtract one from it, and so it will decrement the count. Okay. Similarly, we copy this here from uh, this button and to the other button as well, and we'll just replace this minus with the plus. So now, what is gonna, what's going to happen when we click this? The value of the state is changing, and the React component is re-rendering to display the changed value here. Okay. So both the buttons are working. now there is another way uh, and a better way actually because uh, in in a similar situation where we have to change the uh, change change the value of the count depending upon its previous value of the count we should not uh, do it like this rather we we can use uh, another variant of the set count function where we pass in the function rather than just the value of the state so for doing that we can just say replace this uh, logic here with with a function an arrow function and this is sort of function currently uh, has state previous state as its argument and then what we are going to do because you know just going to use the previous state abstract one from it and in this in increment function we can just replace this by plus okay 
now we're gonna test this and it should work fine okay so here you can see it is working completely fine so uh, that is all from today's video and uh, I hope you guys learned how we can use state and if you have any questions just uh, mention me in the comments and I will make sure to answer them and do uh, also do check out my other videos I am creating a complete series on different hooks uh, built-in build hooks in react so do check those videos as well okay so bye for now